Hey guys, in today's video we're going to talk about device controllers. These controllers are going to let us register, sign in, do email confirmations, and do password recovery for, for our users. So the first thing you want to do is do a Rails generate device controllers for people. And let it run and generate the necessary controllers. And you can see that it generated some controllers are confirmation, password, registration, sessions, unlocks, and OmniAuth callbacks. The last one we're not really going to talk about. Oh, and also, they have given us uh, a, little, a little snippet here, device 4, to override our routes. So that's the little setup that we've talked about in the last video. So that's done for now. So what we want to do right now is we actually want to go through all of these new controllers that they've generated for us. And we want to figure out which ones we have to change and which ones we don't. So let's go back them one by one. Now you can see that they already have a lot of inserted code for us. But a lot of them, well, for all of, the, all of these guys we actually need. So let's just go ahead and uncomment these up. So... Okay, and for our after confirmation path 4, we do not want to keep this super, we just want to rename this to sign in path. And after resending confirmation instruction path 4, we want to change this to new org person confirmation path. And I really don't have to describe these because they have the comments right above them to tell you what they actually do. So that's great and it saves us some time. Now the next thing we're going to look at is Omni Auth Callbacks Controller. And for this one, we actually don't have to do anything. So that's as easy as that. The next one we're going to do is passwords. And for passwords, we're going to do the same thing. It has all these code already generated for us. But I want you to comment them out, all of them. New create, edit, update, and the the callback functions. And again, for these, the path we want to change. We want to change that for the to the root path. And we're going to change this to the sign-in path. And that's all we have to do for the passwords controller. Now let's go to our registrations controller. And again, I want you to just uncomment everything here. So go ahead and uncomment everything. So, and our configure signup params. But over here, we have to do a little bit more change than the previous one. So, what I want you to do is because we're going to make our users sign up with not just, uh, not just their email and their password, we also want them to fill in a form that includes their email, their password, their first name, and their last name. So we're just going to put the param sanitizer to permit first name, last name, email, password, and password confirmation. And before I forget, we also want to uncomment this before filter. And we want to make sure that our previous things that we've changed did not have any filters. So th these guys are good. So our registration is good. Now we want to look at our sessions. For our sessions, we also want to uncomment everything, but leave the things in the protected area uncommented. So we're just going to uncomment these three functions, and we're done for this one. And the last one is unlocks. And we don't really have to do anything here, so we're good on that front as well. The last thing I want to do in this video is want to do some little more configurations for the routes because I gotta say, although I told you to put these routes in, they're not actually correct. 
So I want you to add a new symbol called registrations, have this point to or people registrations, regis, can't spell right, registrations, and I want you to add another symbol of sessions and have that point to or people sessions. And if you want to, right now you can do a rake routes to see other routes that the device for is generated for you. And we want to check that our device scope is all pointing to org people, and they are. And that's where I would want to leave us off. So please rate, comment, subscribe if you enjoy these videos. Leave any questions or comments in the comments area. If you have any new ideas and you want a second thought on it, then feel free to email us at coursehack at gmail.com. And I'll see you guys in the next video.